Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma. So let's do Capricorn for August 2022. Let's see what are the messages for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be a general reading for the August highlights. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> You guys can have a personal reading from me. For that, you can reach out on WhatsApp and Instagram. If you don't have any of these, then you can reach out on my email as well. And uh, do subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram for daily horoscopes for free and monthly free horoscopes. All the feedbacks, updates, and offers on my Instagram. Also provide by prayer-based spells. And also send out pure energy charged crystals for fulfilling your intentions worldwide <clears throat> and also do not forget that these are general readings so it may not resonate each and everything may not resonate with each and every one so take it like how it is and for more accuracy personal readings are always there Capricorn four of cups oh my gosh the five of swords the king of swords i feel like capricorn you're dealing with someone that has been extremely cruel and cold towards you this person had been extremely mean i feel like there's a third party coming between you and the person that you should let get rid of okay there's someone new that started to feel uh, uh you know happy around you like trying to get your attention is wooing you i got one card fall fell off okay <laughs> What I'm seeing is that you're about to, you know, come out of this toxic connection. I feel there's someone that has been like trying to manipulate you with their ways. And you're very, very like, I feel like there has been some sort of a disagreement, very bad, you know, arguments with each other. And I feel at that point of time, there's someone new whose attention that you have grabbed. I feel like because of this person, you're going to finally have a new beginning. There's a transformation in your love life happening. There's this new person that is going to, you know, sweep you off. Could be a Scorpio. But I'm definitely seeing you ending a situation with someone who's been pretty cold towards you on and off. Or has been like hiding something from you. Like they never loved you. And you always felt like they were cheating on you. So that's the person you're going to end things with. And there's this very clear energy of someone you coming in that wants to offer you relationship, that wants to offer you commitment. I feel your life is about to move really fast in the forward direction, a more positive way. And I feel all the good people have started to surround you, Capricorn. You feel strong, you feel powerful. You're able to control your horses, you know, after a thorough understanding and being practical about what you should do, what you should avoid. So you have very controlled uh, senses. So you know exactly what you should be avoiding. <clears throat> okay. I'm seeing a Cancer or a Leo coming in. Leo, Scorpio. That's very strong here. Um, possibly an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo is also what I'm seeing. I feel like the one that you're ending a situation with, with is a Libra Gemini Aquarius. I feel this person slowly falling in love with you. I feel because of your strength and power, maybe this is someone at your workplace that started to fall in love with you. There's someone that is like, has been watching you and feels really getting attracted towards you with time. I'm seeing Scorpio Pisces Cancer for some. <clears throat> the Emperor. The Hermit. The three of swords. Alright, there's someone from the past. I feel like the one that you ditched, I mean, uh, the one that you ended the situation with, okay, which was extremely negative towards you, that person is feeling alone because there's no one to take care of this person. And since that you're gone, this person wants to come towards you and... <clears throat> Be a nice, nice man or a woman towards you. This person is feeling alone and lost and you're not there and they want you back. I feel like you are dealing with someone that's extremely lonely in life. Maybe this is an Aries or a Virgo. But I'm definitely sensing that this person is trying to win you over back. <coughs> Since the day you're gone, they've been missing you hard. I feel you blocked this person. They never expected you to take an extreme step. 
because they thought you were weak. And now that you're coming off as a strong personality in Capricorn, this person is wanting to like find ways to convince you to come back to this person. But you're done. You block them. All right? That is what I'm seeing. You block this person. And now they're showing you extra care and they want you to sympathize with them. They're acting like a victim. And I'm also seeing this person is feeling alone. And they're going through a lot right now. Whereas you've completely shut the door of any kind of contacts with this person. You're not in, interested in talking to them, but I feel like they're still trying. They're fighting their own <clears throat> feelings, you know. This person is going through a lot, I feel. That's the energy that I'm getting. They know that you found someone else and now they cannot do anything else. So definitely you're moving forward and there is a new option coming in. This is a, probably a soulmate. I'm also seeing more than one options might be coming in. But what I'm sensing right now is that there's new lovers coming in. You guys are going to become... Um, the talk of, like, I feel like um, most uh, wanted, like kind of... Like, not most wanted. And in a way, like, there's options that are getting attracted to you very deeply. Yeah. The devil. This person is not happy with the fact that you have options here. Yes, you have options. You're going to end up with this one person coming for you. You're having options, some good, some bad. But I feel like eventually you will be in a relationship. Give it some three months time or two months time or weeks time for yourself. I'm definitely seeing you be, being with someone else. But this person is not letting you go. The past one. Okay. They're jealous. They're jealous of the fact that you have so many suitors wanting to be with you. I'm definitely seeing you have options coming in. You're soon going to be <clears throat> taking the step of, you know, being with someone else. Right now, what it is happening is Capricorn, you're more focused in yourself. And you want to like, uh, you know, spend time with yourself. I feel like you're liking the energy of being without anyone, okay? Because that way is you can concentrate over your goals and your career and your ambition. So that is what you're doing. So things are changing in your favor. I feel the wheel is turning, the fortune is coming, and your strength is taking you a long way when it comes to accomplishing something in life. So with the three of wands, you have multiple opportunities coming. Maybe you might be traveling to another place for a job or something. But I feel this brings a lot of patience and calm energy to your environment. <clears throat> so you're enjoying the energy of being alone. I'm definitely seeing a Leo coming in from a faraway place. This person could be a lawyer or they could meet you for some work-related purposes. Okay. I feel the love brings you, the fate brings you guys together. Yeah. You might be feeling, you know, okay. <laughs> Again, I feel what I'm seeing is this person wants to talk to you, the one that you left, okay? the Your ex, they want to talk to you. Okay, they lied and they're feeling sad and they want to justify themselves. <clears throat> but I think the truth is out and... You're not going to go back to this. I feel like this past person, this ex is trying to, you know, do, they're putting a spell on you, I feel. Um, it is nothing like it, it won't ruin you, but it's some sort of a like law of attraction thing that they're doing to try to attract you. But I feel like you're not going to this person anymore. I'm surely thinking this person is doing anything to have you back in their life your ex they've understood that what they did was wrong but they're never gonna change okay they feel alone they feel left out okay <clears throat> this is a very strongly air sign or a fire sign capricorn for some all right queen of wands yeah this person is like trying to get you i feel like the kind of a body that you're having like capricorn the way you look your attractiveness the way you keep yourself fit this person is like cannot get forget about you i feel your place at your work is also become pretty stable and strong and this person is fearful of cheating on you again or this person is fearful of bullshitting things again 
so i feel your ex wants to have you but is not ready or is not very confident to face you and that is why they're using some alternate techniques to have you uh to like them or to come back in their life yeah they're obsessing over you <clears throat> this person is thinking day and night about you they just cannot stop sleeping but that doesn't mean again i would say that capricorn you have to move forward not backward okay so i'm definitely feeling that this ex of yours is feeling highly deeply rejected okay and you're not giving into this person anymore this is for sure i'm also seeing your place at your work maybe you're going to get um a, a hike in salary maybe you're going to be getting a promotion okay but i'm seeing a good news in your work <clears throat> if you wait and have patience there's this person that is coming for you is the one that you will be marrying i'm seeing you marrying this new person coming in okay and it could be a cancer they could be um another earth sign but what i'm sensing is someone that is rushing in fast in your life to you know to sweep you off your feet to marry you this person wants to marry you who is this person i feel this someone that's extremely patient in life but when it comes to opportunities they never they never you know lose it they always like a go getter king of pentacles this is someone that has gone through a major shit in their love life okay and this person has been a workaholic and they've made a name for themselves and they're pretty patient in their life they're extremely down to earth even if they have a lot of money and knowledge they still keep themselves normal like they are they don't like try to impress others by attire or by appearance they are very simple looking person but quite wise and intelligent like that <clears throat> this person tries to avoid negative energy like they don't want themselves to get drained so they're pretty grounded the one that you're attracting all right i feel they travel a lot Knight of Cups. They're gonna ask you out soon. They have options, guys. They have options, and now, right now, they're just uh, having fun because they haven't found the one they would like to just, you know, trust someone or settle down with. But when they see you, when they meet you, they'll be like, "Okay, I want to get to know this Capricorn more because there's something about them which is actually uh, deep, and I don't want to lose them." So I feel your connection is going to be healing with this new person coming in. and i feel there will be trust issues because this person has options but they will make it sure they'll make you understand that trust me i haven't found the one and that is why i was not sticking to anyone around <clears throat> but i was open to dating that's what i'm saying sagittarius or an, or a pisces energy cancer energy aquarius energy come again family high honor this person is a family person that you're attracting okay they're going to court you soon you will be having a child with this person you're living in a posh house with this person you'll be working you might do a home business when you marry this person i feel you're soon going to be with this person who who has a full fledged family or is a family person and is a very respected uh, at job at work like they might be working for their country and uh, they're an official person they might be doing a government job but i think they are on a very high scale a very high ranking job they have they have a very antique kind of a house i feel <clears throat> very expensive stuff okay and i think you will this person will be dating you and you'll be ending up living with this person in a posh house in a posh bungalow mansion whatever you can call it you'll definitely have a child with this person and you'll be working in the house i feel they'll make an environment for you where you'll be working in the house or if you're a man here then you'll be going out and working but uh, you'll be building a big house from the money that you're getting okay so <clears throat> definitely this is going to be a beautiful connection that's going to develop between you and this person coming for you king of pentacles they have a lot of wealth and i feel they are going to you know deliver their heart to you free yourself 
I feel the one that is like your ex is not getting, you know, is not letting you go. You need to get rid of this person as soon as possible so that you can be with this person safely that's coming for you. <clears throat> In the near future, you'll see this happening. And then we have time to collaborate. You guys may work with this person, okay? Or there's some sort of a partnership going on or professional connection is there but i'm seeing a new beginning where this person might put you with them in their work so i'm also sensing 111 is your angel number right now or 22 uh, which is telling me that try to change certain habits of yours and you know add something new like there's some switch in your habits happening become more flexible to things and situations <clears throat> I'm also seeing what you want in the other person is what you need to become first. Some of you are spiritual teachers here. Capricorn, I've been getting a lot in the Capricorn race. There's someone that is a spiritual teacher that watches my reading and that is why I keep on getting this. So I feel like whatever you do, <clears throat> you're doing with all of your heart and spirit and soul. But you're not flexible. Somewhere you need to find flexibility. You're too spiritual. Or you're too practical. So somewhere you need to find a balance. Or you're too overworked. Or you're working less. Something is there that is needing balance in your work. Or you should get some spiritual classes and seminars and sessions. You should be a part of it. And try to, you know, align your energy if you're not feeling well. Otherwise, I think most of you are. Passion and purpose. I feel like some of you are very passionate about helping others through spiritual methods. And this is for you then. Okay. So be more passionate about your work. Yes, your work involves helping others. So I think that Capricorn, if this is something that's coming in your mind, you might be getting into some sort of a partnership in your work in the near future. You'll be more flexible and you'll be working effortlessly. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, with full, full efforts, I mean, in your work. Some of you 34 here. <clears throat> Yeah, it is very important that to find a balance, I told you, you need to meditate. Because somewhere you, you're not able to find a balance, you lose balance. So that is why meditation is important. Some of you dealing with a Pisces coming in. Yeah, again, you might be going through a spiritual awakening where you know now what you need to do. Reach out. Strategy. I feel like whatever you want to do, you have to... Not just sit down and wait. You have to do something about it. You have to have a proper planning. Like I'll do this first and I'll do that first. Okay. Like this. So whatever you want, you have to have a proper planning and you have to move. You cannot just sit. Okay. This is what I'm seeing. <clears throat> I see the signs coming for you. Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, one more, Virgo. These are the signs. Hmm. All right. So there's a new romantic cycle developing and I feel you will have children with this person soon. You might get pregnant. Yeah, I wanted to f say it in the beginning of the read, but I resisted. But now it's just coming twice. It came twice that you will have children with this person. Some of you, your person or you are a bookworm. But I, what I'm feeling is one person is extremely studious uh, or they have spectacles or you have spectacles. Someone is from uh, Guham. If there is, like, I've heard this country name, Guham, something like that. Okay. Someone is really fond of perfumes or this person will gift you a perfume. <clears throat> I'm also seeing, yeah, some of you guitarist here. So you want to be a guitarist or singer or your person. Okay. They are a guitarist, famous. Okay. They wear specs. I'm also seeing your luck is about to change. <coughs> That might be their hobby as well. Sorry, I'm um, a little a little down today. Like I'm a little sick. Although my energy is very up, but my I have cold, so a little bit you should be bearing with that. Aries to Pisces, your person, how do they feel for you in the month of August? I see. Aries is like stressing over this. I feel like you rejected them or there's some sort of an ending and they just cannot sleep. <clears throat> Taurus, 
Taurus is hung up, they have to decide between you and something else and they cannot decide. Gemini is coming towards you with a lot of passion and fire and a proposal. And we have uh, Cancer is missing you so badly. They want you. They see you as a soulmate. Leo wants a relationship for sure. Virgo is making a decision between you and someone. And we have Libra is spying and stalking, talking about you. Scorpio is not sure. Right now they don't want to deal with this. Sagittarius had a sudden realization that there's something that they feel deeply connected. Why they're deeply connected to you. Capricorn is hurt because you moved on. Okay, or you're the one that's still hurting of the past. Aquarius is wanting to win you because you're like a trophy to this person. They're attracted to you. They find you inspirational. And then we have... Um, <clears throat> Pisces. Pisces wants to wait for the right time. Why do they want to wait? I feel the Pisces been overthinking things and they're not able to trust anybody, not even you. So they want to wait right now. So they want to get to know you more. Okay. They find you extremely interesting though. So that is it guys. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and also follow me on Instagram. Till then, please take care of yourself. Bye.